We'll guide you through how to connect your MacBook to your monitor and then have the lid closed and use it in clamshell mode. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So firstly, what we need to do is connect the MacBook to the monitor. So we need to identify which cable we can use to do this. On the newer MacBooks, they actually come with an HDMI port. As you can see here, I've got an HDMI port here and my monitor also has HDMI as well. So therefore I can just directly connect it. But with some of the older Macs, you're going to go and need an adapter. So maybe you'll need to get a USB-C to HDMI. But what you should do is see what inputs your monitor has, whether it be HDMI, VGA, or they're sort of the main ones or DisplayPort as well. And then you can go and get the right adapter for that. And I'll put a link down below to some adapters, which are affiliate links, which help the channel at no extra cost to you. So as I said, I've got um, an HDMI monitor and an HDMI port on my Mac, so I don't need any adapters. So what I can do is go and plug this straight in. Unlock your Mac and it will take a second or two and then either your MacBook screen will be duplicated or extended. But of course you want to go and just have your monitor screen on with your MacBook closed. So to do that, now what you need to do is go and connect your MacBook to the power. So just go and use its usual wall adapter and plug it in. I've now connected my MacBook to the power, as you can see. But now what we need to do is go and connect a mouse and keyboard because, of course, our MacBook lid's going to be closed. So we can't use the keyboard or the mouse on it. So personally, I just use a USB mouse and a USB keyboard, but you may have the official Apple equipment, which will just connect wirelessly using Bluetooth, or you may just have another Bluetooth mouse or keyboard. It doesn't really matter, just plug them in. I just connected my keyboard and my mouse here as well. This mouse is wireless, as you can see the dongle's there, and the keyboard is plugged in here. And I've just had these pop-ups on my Mac, so I will just go and press allow, just like this, and we get this keyboard assistant. I'll just close that off for now, but everything is now set up. We've got our monitor connected, we've got our mouse and keyboard connected, and the power is connected. So then all you need to do is close your MacBook lid like this, and that's it. The MacBook is going to stay on, and you can just go and use your screen. As you can see, I now move my mouse, and I can go and use my keyboard as well. And so what you could do is go and maybe put your MacBook to the side and then you just got a clear desk where you can work. And of course, you could then unplug your MacBook and go and take it again and plug it into another display.